Hi there, it's me, Tony. How are you? I have more cheap jewelry from eBay. And it's semi-unboxed because I did a little ASMR unwrapping of it so you can hear those clinkly noises. So, I thought, oh yeah, makes for a separate video. Maybe somebody likes that stuff. So, anyway. This was... It wasn't very much money. I can't remember. I'll have to look, but I want to say it was about $15. But I had some really nice looking stuff. And I thought, what the heck? So, I'll start with... And they, they were so nice to kind of wrap it in little baggies. So let's look what I got. Okay. So this has some bracelets. Um, here's a set of silver and gold tone bracelets. I see no... I see no markings, but I, you know, it's really nice. They have them hooked together nicely, so you could wear these separately or together. Very nice. And then this, originally under Red Jewel, was $4.19. It's a little cup bracelet. And, I mean, it's all used or whatever. So, let's see. My chunky, chunky fist. There you go. Very nice. I mean, it's cute. It's fashion jewelry. So that's that little bag. Here's another bag. It's all mostly all gold and silver tone jewelry. So no, you know, ugly plastic. My six-year-old made this and I put it in the bag. Not that things made by six-year-olds are bad. Okay. Let me pull some of this out. Oh. The first thing is a, I would like to be a David Yerman bracelet. Uh, obviously it's not, but it's that type of bracelet. So there you go. Very nice. You can stack those. And then here's another, um, I want to be a David Yerman Bracelet. This is mostly why I got it because, and I know you can buy these sort of knockoffs on um, Amazon, but the bag was cheaper than this would have been on Amazon. So, um, so it's nice. It's it's, and it's good weight. It's not thin feeling or anything. Um, and no, nothing is. Um, says David Yerman like somebody you know didn't know I accidentally put a David Yerman but you know I could pretend oh, look I got a David Yerman $650 bracelet and I don't have to tell you you would never know okay now here is a rather glammy necklace have a little bling to it, a little hammered gold look to it, a little type of, sort of like a Rolo chain. I don't see a maker, obviously not 14 karat gold, but I mean, it, this is nice quality fashion jewelry. So this to me, is stuff you can really get away with reselling, I think. Ah, wait, here we go. That makes infinitely more sense. I kind of, I kind of liked it on the side. I thought they were being trendy, but see, there it is. It's like, that's cute so far. This is nice jewelry. It's a very pretty 
Wow. Another about 24 inch, 22, 24 inch necklace. I mean, it is very gold and very blingy here on the bottom. Oh, this little ball. You see that? I'm just going to focus, 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 focus. I don't know what you call this type of chain, but it's very pretty. It's all one piece. Very nice weight. I think you could wear this with the right outfit and nobody has to know. Here is, oh, this is cute. Isn't that nice? Here again, another gold and silver bracelet. Um, has like a little, it was unlocked. Now let me figure out how I did it. There it goes. Unlocks and then Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, it goes on the side. Okay, gotcha. So, very nice. Again, this is really nice. I don't know where he does all this stuff. Okay, now I can't get this off. It may be on. Now, this one, this is just like a little, almost like a fabric covered um, bracelet. Really, it's cute to stack. That's really the first like non-metal piece I've gotten. Here are it's really nice. They put he clips everything together. Really pretty pair of clip earrings. I've been getting a lot of clip earrings. I didn't know people wore clip earrings that much. I don't see a maker but again very nice quality this is, it's what I call dress up jewelry this is um, going to church jewelry going on a nice date jewelry and then here is two pairs two pairs of earrings wow so there's this really nice little dangly earrings and then these really nice hoop earrings. And as you can see, the little theme here is gold and silver. And they did get this from the Goodwill, but that's okay with me because this is really, it's really nice stuff, actually. And it's all made very well. I am very happy. And then, okay, now we have funky ring time. Funky, funky. So here is, I don't know, this is made of, I guess it's made out of brass, but it has it's a little funky ring. But it's, you know, got the little adjustable kind of thing, so it fit on mine. Little chunky fingers. Blingy blingy. And then, oh, here's another pair of gold and silver earrings. I mean, this, I'm really happy with the quality. And here's another kind of similar ring, similar kind of layout. This is more in the gunmetal. But really, I mean, that's a pretty fashion ring. I would not have any problem wearing anything in this collection except for maybe this thing because I can't get it on. Okay. And then, one more. This is all, I may have to keep some of this. This, this is not, this. oh, by the way, the thing I kept calling a Christmas ornament, it's actually a giant, and it's a reproduction, but giant Victorian hat pin. Apparently, they had big hats and they had big pins to go in big hats. So there you go. Okay, let me let me put this over here. Okay, now we're getting to the this is a nice again silver and gold type 
beaded necklace that I'm confused now because I guess you could double it. I guess it's it's got like a little hook right here, so you could double it and make it a uh, two strand. So very pretty. The, I don't know if you can tell the beads are beads kind of have a um, texture to them, and then they're cut out. So really pretty. I mean, this is really pretty fashion jewelry. Here is the, you had to have, every bag has to have that one funky piece. So I found the one funky piece. And this is, this is my one funky piece. Actually, it's a good length. But very pretty. Just, you know, a little different. This is all, and this is, this is the best bag I've gotten so far, I think. I don't know what this is. I think it's a, is it a belt? No, nobody's waist is that small, is it? I guess it's a necklace. It's like a really chunky, chunky, chunky necklace, which I couldn't even probably wear, but here, I'll just put it like this so you can see it. I have a thick neck. So there's that. I, oh, this is kind of fun. People will always know you're coming. It's a sort of French inspired, I guess. Fleur de lis, then a lock and key. Isn't that cute? Oh, uh, you think this is like people under 30 would like this? I guess this is more my style in a lot of ways, but I don't know if it's because I'm just old and this reminds me of jewelry I had or what. There was a watch, an Elgin, an Elgin diamond quartz thing. But, um, this is sort of a 90s looking. Big watches are in. I don't know what big square Belgians are in. With the itty bitty 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 smaller diamond known to man. So they could say it was a diamond. Okay. You know how I said every bag always has that one funky piece? And I said it was the other one. I lied. It's this one. What do you call that? It's this. This is a little weird. Okay. okay. It's like those purses that have all the little pieces. I, mean, I don't know if you could. I don't know. I've never seen anything like this. It's it's fairly heavy, and the back, the back pieces. I don't know what this is. The back or the front. I mean, it's supposed to be the front. No, I mean, wear it either way. I don't know. Very weird. Okay. This is what is this? Oh, it's a pen. This is, is our brooch. So there you go. Uh, just a little regular pen, not anything, you know, old or anything like that. Oh, did I tell you? Did I, tell, I don't think I told you. The one brooch that was in the one bag that had the real kind of uh, orangey, yellow stones and everything in it that apparently is a juliana brooch um, the, the brooch part is broke but it's very collectible and um i belong to a facebook group that you can say is this something and they all know what is 
exactly what it is. And they showed me a picture and there was a whole set of stuff. So that was kind of exciting. Okay, we're getting toward the end. So here's another gold and silver necklace. This is all chain work. Very nice. I mean, and all of this has been in really exceptional condition. I've not seen anything really that looked banged up or, you know, where the silver or the gold had worn off. And so here's the very last piece. And let me see if I can get this. Okay. That's another little, that's kind of fun. I mean, it's funky, but it's fun. Little, um, it's a short necklace, but it has, what is it, about three inches of an extender. So that would be really pretty. And this is pretty lightweight. I mean, you could wear this and not feel uncomfortable. So that's my haul of jewelry. I think I did quite well. There is nothing to throw into the I don't think I want it pile. And, um, Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. I think I'll stop buying jewelry for a while. I have too much jewelry. I need to go and put it like in little bags. So whenever I do start, I'm planning all this toward my retirement. This is why I'm getting this. Well, I still have money. But I think that's all stuff that's sellable. Somebody sold it to me. So, uh, you know, there you go. Anyway, that's it. Welcome to my channel. If you like stuff like this, sometimes I do stuff like this. Sometimes it's thread up boxes. It might be unboxings. It might be makeup stuff. It might be just me yakking about something. Anyway, if you like to, you know, join my channel, just click the little subscribe button and the little bell. So you know when I post things, I always tell people I post things when I have something to show you, or something to talk about, and um, that's it. I will talk to you kids later. Bye-bye.